hello my my beauty queens welcome back to my channel so in today's video i'm happy to bring to you take let's take the trash out so these are items that beauty items that i used up and i'm super proud of myself pat myself on the back because you know us makeup junkies beauty junkies or perfume junkies or whatever you want to call us when we use up a fragrance, a candle, a makeup, or just anything, we're like super, super excited. So yeah, so without further ado, let's jump on it. Jump on it, jump on it, jump on it. All right, so first I'm gonna start with my candles cause I got six, believe it or not. So the first one I wanna share with you is the Honey Cinnamon Crumb Cake. And I had this one in my collection for like quite a long time as you can see what the um, wicks look like so when i burn it the wicks like go down in the wax so i don't know if that's because i had it for a long time or that's just the candle but yeah the honey cinnamon crumb cake this was the throw was like almost non-existent it was like a two or a three but if you got right up on it you could smell it but yeah this is like a two or a three and I don't even know if they have this candle. Like I said, this candle been in my collection for years. And I was like, let me burn it. I don't even know if candles go bad. But yeah, honey cinnamon crumb cake. Let me know if you tried this candle and if you have what you think. So yeah, that one is gone. Let me get my trash can, guys. Because I was hoarding this stuff. Until I can show you guys what I finished up. And now I could toss it. Another candle that I used was the White Barn Black Tie candle. This one burnt very nice. As you can see, it has a very, very nice smell. The throw on this, I'll probably give like a six. But yeah, this was really nice. And this had been in my collection for a long time. The White Barn Black Tie candle. I have a, a candle from Goose Creek. This is cupcakes, peanut butter, and vanilla. This one was okay. It wasn't that strong. It, I mean, I do smell peanut butter, but it was just okay. And the throw was very moderate as well. Give it maybe a four. Yeah, four. So this is by Goose Creek, cupcakes, peanut butter, and vanilla. Another candle is the Champagne Toast. This was very nice right here. This one burned, burned very, very nice. I get this like an eight, a nine. It still smells super good. So yeah, I, you know what? I'm going to just say 10 because I had this one in my bathroom and I could smell it in my room, in my sunroom, my hallway, my living room. So yeah, Maisha, what more do you damn want from a candle? Yeah, so champagne toast. I really enjoyed this. I'll give this a 10 out of 10. Another candle I enjoyed for Christmas was under the Christmas tree. This is my first time have, um, smelling this candle and burning this candle, purchasing this candle. And um, yeah, it's called under the Christmas tree. Oh, this one smells so good. See, the packaging is very cute. The top is very cute. This make me want to keep this one, but I don't know. I can't keep hoarding all this stuff just because it's beautiful packaging. I can't keep doing it. I got to figure out what I'm going to do. All right, so yeah, um, Bath and Body Works under the Christmas tree. Let me know if you tried this. This was very good. I'm going to read the scent notes to you. It's fir balsam, Jupiter berries, vanilla eggnog, sage leaves. This smells so good. And I get this an eight, and it burnt really nice. I might keep this though. I don't need this, but I probably sorry about that horn. Every time I start filming somebody humping their horn, opening gates, dogs barking, I'm like, well, damn. But anyway, I guess yeah, my um my subscribers be like, that's life. So whatever, that's life. So yeah, this is um. So I'm gonna keep this. I'm gonna toss that, but I'm gonna keep this. I probably just sit it on my vanity for a cup holder or something. But that's very very nice. Last but not least, I had a stress relief candle. This one is a 10 out of 10 to me. This one looks like it burnt all the way down. 
I feel like the um, throw is very, very good. So I'll give it a nine or a 10. And it still smells very nice. It still smells very relaxing. Stress relief. And what is this? This is eucalyptus and spearmint. All right, now let's get on to the goodies. So I finally finished up my Cinema Secret Makeup Brush Cleaner 99.99% Bacteria Free Quick Drying Rinse Free Formula. So this you could just wipe your, put this on a, like paper towel, take your brush, wipe it. It um, sanitizes it and it cleans it. So I really like this. I already purchased another one of these. Not as big, but I did purchase another one because I had this one for so long. I feel like I can go down a notch. So yeah, the Cinema Secrets Makeup Brush Cleaner. I finished up a native toasted marshmallow and vanilla. I really like this. I purchased another one already. Oh, that smells so good, you guys. This is no surprise. A Clinique take the day off. I cleansing bomb. I think in almost every get um every take the trash out video I do. I don't know why I'm smelling this. I'm just used to smell. <laughs> Clinique take the day off. Cleansing bomb is almost. Well, I think it's in every video that I do that take out the trash because I go through these. I use these every night, every night, every night. I take out my makeup every night. So I love these. So it's not broke while well, I fix it. I'm going to continue to use that. I was excited I used up this Ancient's Cosmetic Birthday Cake Body Oil. Let me know if you heard of this company. They have a whole lot of different... Um, body oils and lotions and body butters and stuff like that. So Angus Cosmetics birthday cake. Bath and Body Works wrapped in vanilla shower gel. I love this. I bought, I didn't see that they brought this back to sad sale or I haven't seen it in store since. And I love this. So I bought a lot of backup. So I'm super happy. So I don't have to, you know, try to be Oh, I'm not going to use it. I could just use it because I bought so many. So, yeah, the wrapped in vanilla. This was a good one. I don't know why they didn't bring this one back. I finished up a Bath and Body Works Buttercup and Berry Bellinis. This is very nice. This was my first Buttercup Berry Bellinis, believe it or not. And this smells so, so good. I like the packaging. Yeah, and it just smells really, really nice. I uh, used uh, a smoothing coconut coffee scrub and wash by OGX. This was very nice. I was going to buy another one, but I was like, no, I'm going to use the um, body washes that I have because I have so many. And I have a coffee one, not this exact coffee one, but I still have a coffee one from Bath and Body Works. So I'm going to try to use up what I have before I use something and buy another one unless I really, really, really think I need it. <laughs> So yeah, smoothing coconut coffee scrub and wash, um, O by O G X. So these are just some fragrance-free cloth-like baby wipes. I always use these. This no particular brand. I just get them from Target, whichever ones they have that I feel like I want to get that day. So I also use these to help take off my makeup to make sure I get it all off. So, like I said, I go through these a lot as well, but it's always all different um, brands. You guys, that Kayali Vanilla, I couldn't get rid of. Like, it was down to here, and it, it I would spray it and spray it and spray it, and it, this baby seemed like it wouldn't even move. And I'm like, what the hell? But, yeah, so the Kayali Vanilla 28, I finished this up. We already know this is a... Oh my God, this smells so good. And I already have a backup. I already opened it. I already spritzed it. And now I'm letting it sit so the juice can turn dark. But yeah, I love this smell. So the Vanilla 28, I think I'll probably keep this in my collection because you can always mix this with any and everything. And I just love it. I wear it by itself sometimes, but most of the time I like mixing it and well layering it with something. But I love this. So yeah, I already have my backup. I already have it sitting so it can get dark and strong something else that i used up 
is the what is this bobby brown the bobby brown vitamin enriched face base now this was nice right here and i enjoyed it and then you know this cost a pretty little penny and i was gonna buy another one but then like i said i started using my ultra repair cream right here and this is a fraction of the cost and you see it's way bigger so i was like i'll stick to this for now not saying i'm not going to never buy this but i'm not going to buy this because i'm using i'm enjoy using my um first aid beauty ultra repair cream but i did enjoy my bobby brown um face face i finished up another perfume black opium now this one been in my collection a long time since i purchased this one i had purchased the green one i purchased the all uh, vanilla one so yeah I really like this smell, but this still an OG. I still love this smell. And I'm just happy I was able to use it up. It just feels so good. It feels good. Yeah. It feels good. When you use something up, it just feels so good. Especially when you have so much stuff. Another thing I used up is the Black Cherry Merlot Gentle Foamy Hand Soap. So this was in my bathroom. I like the way this smells well. We already know about that. Oh, another candle, this strawberry daiquiri. I had this in my bathroom. This is when it's, um, single wicks was on sale. It still smells super, super good. It really smelled like a strawberry daiquiri. I was thinking I should have got a backup, but even though I keep saying backup and I keep saying I'm not going to do that, this is real good and I burnt it and yeah, you got that smallberry, I mean smallberry, strawberry daiquiri smell and once again, you can see it burnt really, really well. And yeah, strawberry daiquiri. Moving right along, I used up a Mario Badesco skin spray, facial spray, should I say? It's for the skin too, but facial Mario Badesco facial spray. I used up Aromatherapy C, Jasmine and Eucalyptus. So I use, I mostly sprayed this like on my pillows and stuff like that. Like I sprayed a little bit on me, but I really sprayed it more on my bed and my sheets and my pillows. But I really, really did enjoy this. I picked this up from the sad sale when it was like, what, when they were like three bucks, something like that, three, two seventy five or whatever. I also finished up this mini Mario Makeup by Mario Lip Plumping, Lip Non Plumping Lip Gloss, Lip Non Plumping Disappearing <laughs> Lip Gloss. This is a magical lip gloss. So, this is the shade right here, uh, Miss Rose. And don't get me wrong, it did feel soft on my lips and I did enjoy it, but this was advertised as a plumping lip gloss. I didn't get no plumping. And then it was weird, like I would put it on and I wouldn't even eat nothing or drink nothing and it would like disappear. But it was nice. I mean, I did like the little smell it gave off and it was moisturizing while it lasted. But like I said, it was non-plumping and it disappeared. So this won't be a repurchase. I'm working on one more that I just throw. I had these in my makeup bag and just use them as, you know, as needed. But yeah, I got one more to finish up and the Mario, I don't know exactly what they call, but the Mario lip plumping, I will not be repurchasing these, but I didn't take them back. I did use them, but I don't know. They do a disappearing act and I don't get no plumping at all. A uh, um, concealer that's going to always and forever be in my collection, no matter what high-end concealers that I use is the LA Pro Girl. So I use this up. This is in the shade Chestnut, no matter what concealer i use i will always have la girl in my um collection i love la girl it's timeless i use the and then last but not least 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 <laughs> i use the three color pop pencils these are in black and brown I don't normally buy expensive brow pencils. Like, I used to buy Anastasia and, and all that stuff. But then when I started using the Precision Brow Pencils by ColourPop, these is affordable. 
Um, I feel like they do the job. I've been using these like forever on my brows. I haven't had any problems. And so when I order offline from um, ColourPop, I'll just buy them in bulk. I'll buy like six to eight of them. And then I won't have to buy none for a long time. So yeah, I really like these and I use the color black brown. All right, my, my beauty queens. What are these? Oh, these some little bags I put in here. All right, my, my beauty queens. That concludes my um. take the trash out. As you can see, I uh, emptied out the trash. I'm super, super happy. Let your girl know if there are any products that you, that you used up. Let me know, let me know, let me know. Conversate with your girl. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share, tap that notification bell. Check out my YouTube community tab and all my other social sites. Stay safe, stay well. Kisses. Peace out.